Okay. Okay, let me get it where you can reach it. He healed this man. He didn't send him to church first. He didn't send him uh, on his job. No, no, no. He says, no, I need you to go home. Because the same people in your household, I'm talking about the people who gave up on you. I'm talking about the people who talked about you. I'm talking about the people who know what you was going through. Go back home and show them what the Lord have done for you. And I stopped by to tell somebody at the church, go home. Okay, my Lord Jesus. Go home and let every enemy, every witch, and every demon know that you are back. That the Bible declared, touch not my anointing, nor do my prophet no harm. Let your household know that God is still in control. He sent them home because sometimes in your house or where you grew up at, they are the worst people, I said it before, that criticize you. Because they're looking at us as a, at a different lens. They're looking at us different because they've seen our struggle. They've seen our pain. They've seen the mistakes that we made firsthand. Oh, my Lord Jesus. So Jesus says, I need you to go home. Because when they see you this time, they going to see you different. When they see you this time, they going to know you been with Jesus of Nazareth. When they see you this time, they going to know God made it right on our behalf. In other words, he sent them home with a testimony. And you can't go home with a testimony if you have not survived the test. Oh, my goodness. And I know I got a couple of people in here you can testify that you survived a lot of stuff that other folks died from. You survived the test that you could go wherever you could go. You could lift up his, oh my goodness, your holy name and let the world know God lifted me. God bless me. God deliver me. My deliverance is not based on what you think about me. My deliverance is based on what God said about me. 